Okay, there, this is Alex. I'm back with this LSL lock and bumping the camera as usual. Um, we took it apart last week um, and I managed to pick it once off camera. And um, I also found a little box that it came in, which I thought was kind of cool. You usually don't get a nice little box like that. It comes in there. There's the lock. And uh, here's a key for it. Okay. We got some high lows in there. A little hard to see. And then if I stick it in, and I have coffee. So, pardon me for one second here. Yummy. So, put that back in, lock it up, and show you that it's nice and locked up. Set that aside. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tension it. Primarily on pin one, but I've got to get it in there a little further just to keep the tensor from moving around. And then I've got this bizarro like lifter pick looking thing from a Goso dimple set that I got relatively recently. Um, I got this pick, I had no bloody clue that it was what they thought it was for. Um, but as I've been working on this lock, I found that because there's no warding whatsoever. Um, you know, it's hard to keep your pick lined up with the... Six minutes, okay. Not too bad. This high def mode, the camera cuts out at about 12 minutes, which happens to be about four gigabytes, which I think is the maximum file size on the file system they use on this flash card. Which kind of sucks, honestly. It doesn't really have a full HD that's of a like higher compression rate or anything, so you're pretty much stuck. open. Whew. All right. On frame everything got just enough time to gut it for you. So I need my small, actually this one might fit. So I'm take the screw out. Okay, screw comes 
out. Then we take our small screwdriver. Get the face plate off. If we can. And we come in this way. Come on now. There we go. And there's the lock core. And you can see it picked. Off to the side there. Focus back up. And I'm going to attempt to disassemble this without making a huge mess. Um, Take this little pin out. Screw. Oops, I think I've locked up again. That's okay. Doesn't seem to want to go. Fucker. Hopefully, I didn't tighten it down too much. There it goes. see here, actually before I get too excited, the, um, let's see the key pins are all there. I try to drum, dump the, uh, try to dump the drivers if I can. Okay. There's the ball bearing. Run so I don't get too confused here. That's the ball bearing in six. Okay. There's spool number five. I don't know how far I got into disassembling it, but I just thought I'd show you that everybody's still there. So here's all the spools from top pins. Here's pin one with that funny little mark on him. And then the remaining pins, which are all these funny sort of double radius things that so that they sit down in the holes there. Okay, and then the sleeve that I was talking about. There we go. So if you look at the size of the spool, he fits down in that chamber, but he wants to he very much likes to, if I can grab him, get caught up in that notch there. So I'm constantly having to fiddle with the tension here to even allow him to go in or, or come back out, right, because he gets caught in that little lip. LSL lock, gutted, picked, SPP, um, and I finally found a use for this goofy um, this OPEC that came with my recent purchase of a pick set. And you can see pretty clearly that tip on there. It's like a, what, is that a sixteenth of an inch wide and or tall and I don't know, three thirty seconds thick. It's pretty thick. But um, getting in that keyway because there's no warding, I don't really care about how wide it, how thick it is. In fact, having the tip thicker makes it easier so you can get down on those pins. Thank you for watching. Um, <clears throat> please uh, subscribe to my feed if you like my videos. <clears throat> and as always, have fun and please keep it legal. Cheers.